Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 77 combinations. And we solved similar problems in one of our recently concluded workshop. And if you are someone who is interested in search workshops, please do consider joining our telegram channel and I have mentioned the link in the description. In this problem, we are given a value of n and we are given a value of k. What does n and what does k mean? n means we have the combination, we have these four numbers available from one till four. We have these four numbers available and we have to form a combination of two numbers using these four numbers right and it is that we will not repeat for example 2 1 equals 1 2 so we need not repeat if we have already formed this we need not repeat this combination or this combination is not also a valid combination that is the thing now if we are given this four numbers what are the combination of two numbers that is possible these are all the combinations that are possible and we have to return all of them all of them now let's look at another example and draw some conclusion or observations out of this if you understand this example it will be very easy for you to understand the solution now we are given n is equal to 4 but in this case k is not equal to 2 but k equals 3 now let us look what are the different combinations that we can form now let's look at this problem and let's try to add one more number to it. Can we add one more number to this? 1, 2. Yes, we can add. What is that number? We can add any number 3 and 4. Let's add 3. Let's add 4. This and this is done. Now, to the same thing, which is the next combination. 1, 3. Can we add any more number? Yes, we can add a 4. Now, this is done. This is done. We are left with 1, 4. Can we add any more number to this? No, we cannot add. Similarly, for 2, 3, can we add any more number? Yes, we can add. And that, that will be 2, 4. Now, we are done with this, this. And for this number and this number, we cannot add anything. So, this will be our final answer. So, essentially what we did. Essentially what we did. Let's take this simple example where n is equal to 4 and k equals 1. And this will be our answer because we can we have to choose only one number and we chose all the one, one numbers in the next step when k is equal to 2 what are we doing we are adding essentially all the possible numbers to this combination what we did was 1 2 1 3 then 1 4 that is what we did and similarly for this this and this as well and we neglected those combination which is not possible so essentially what we are doing we have a bigger problem that is we want to form three numbers a combination of three numbers but can we reduce this to a sub problem yes we can reduce it to a sub problem how we can reduce it we will pick up a number first for say for example we picked up one now what does the sub problem get reduced to the sub problem get reduced to we no longer need to pick up from the entire array or the array list combination that is given to us we have to pick just from these two three four and our k will also reduce from its value Right? For example, we had this n is equal to 4 and we chose 1. As soon as we chose 1, we have this reduced and our value of k also reduced. Now, let's add the next number. If we are adding the next number that is equal to 2, what does k become? k get reduced to 1 again and we also will reduce this list to this. So, what we are essentially doing is we have a bigger problem and we are reducing the bigger problem into smaller problems and solving, reducing the value of k at each step until we have k equals to 0. This will be our base case. Right? This is when it comes to k. Now, how do we go about this? The only thing we have to do is keep track of the starting digit. Keep track of the starting number. For example, in this case, we can add anything from 1, 2, 3, 4, since our array is empty, our answer is empty. Now, as soon as we add, say, 2, can we add 1 to this? It is not required, right? We will maintain, since it is given in the question that we will maintain this order, or this and this need not be produced once again, just this has to be produced. So, we can maintain this order as well. So, once you have added 2, we can just conclude that we will add 3 and 4 or whatever numbers are further that and we will no longer add any number prior to that. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. I have taken the same question and the same example where n is equal to 4, k is equal to 3 and start is equal to 0 which means we can add all of this. When start is equal to 0, what are the options we have? We have 4 options, right? 
I have written all the four options, option one, option two, option three, and option four. That is, we have added one number to this. As soon as we add one number to this, does the value of n gets changed? No, the value of n will remain the same all over. Now, what happens to the value of k? The value of k will get reduced by minus one. If you look here, the value of k get reduced by minus one. But this is a quite tricky thing. As soon as you add one, now further we can add from the first index. This is the index that I'm mentioning here. Similarly, as soon as we add two, we can start from the second index. Similarly, when we have added three, we can start from the third index and from the fourth index. Now, if you go further down the load, we cannot add anything. So I haven't extended this path or this path. Now let's look at these two examples, these two examples, right? We have added one to our answer. What is this answer? We'll be sending an array list to this step and we'll be adding one to that array list. Now, after we have added one to the array list, now what are the chances we have? We have two, we have three, and we have four. Let's all add all of them. And we, if you see here, we have formed all the combination of two digits, which will lead to three digits, right? Here also one combination will be formed, which cannot be formed, so I have not written here. As soon as you are done with all this option, what is the value of k? The value of k get reduced to zero in the final step. I have taken these three examples. I have just written these three examples and written it down here. What is the extension of all three is we are just adding finally, we have added these two digits and finally we are adding three and we are adding four. Now it is also way more important that you keep track of the flow of the array list, right? For example, we sent an empty array list from the top. What was added? One was added, two was added first and three was added. One, two, three was added. But can we use the same array list or we will be using a different array list for every path? No, we'll be using the same array list. Now, if we want to use the same array list or the vector, what do we have to do? Say, for example, we have to come back here and again add four to this, right? So essentially what we'll be doing to the previous step, we will be sending just one, two, just one, two. And this one, two will again add one, four to this and we have this answer. Now, if you go to one more previous step, this will be removed as well as this will be removed. Now we just have one and three will be added and the combination four will be added. So it is also important that as the array list flows from down top to bottom, the data gets added. And it is also important that when it goes up, the data needs to be deleted, whichever we added at each step needs to be deleted. This is one option or we can form an array list at every step that is also possible but this is the better option because that will be a costly process to form an array list or a vector at every stage now let's look at the code the coding part is very simple let's have a helper class which will take care of this recursion what we'll do with this helper class this takes the input of start and we have a value of n that never changes and we have k which reduces at every step and we have the list of integer or vector which will flow from top to bottom right now what is the case what is the base case the base case is if k is equal to zero we'll be adding it to our final answer which is a list of list of integer or vector now finally once we have added we have to return because we will need not add one more element once again now what we are doing here is we are adding all the element from the starting point till the ending point but I have changed the formula here a little bit. Why we saw in the case? Because if we are adding one four, is there a possibility that we can add anything again? No, right? So that case is taken care with this formula. And what we do, we add the number i, whichever is at the start and till, and then we change or call the function once again by increasing the value of i, that is the start will be increased the start will be increased or changed to i plus one and the value of n remains same care get reduced by one and we'll be passing the same array list we are not changing we are passing the same array list and once we are done with this don't forget we have to remove that particular element which we added at the last right and now we have the complete function where we'll be calling the helper class and we'll be returning the answer and there are a few problems that are similar to these problems one is lead code number problem number 46 39 and 491 and we have a telegram group where we'll be discussing about these problems and i have mentioned the link in the description so do consider joining the telegram group thank you please do like share and subscribe